In this tutorial, we will be going over how to set up your Sitalyzer with Photometry system. The equipment that will be needed includes the Photometry Detection Unit, Photometry Behavioral Camera Kit, Camera Trigger Cable, Excitation Light Source, Current Driven Optical Excitation System, and in this case we are using a 4-channel controller, a patch cable, a firewire cable and a Plexon configured system controller that includes a FireWire card and USB ports for behavioral cameras. You will also need a license key with Synalyzer and Photometry to operate this system. If you are using a 4-channel controller, you will also need a Radiant license key. The Radiant license may be on the same key as the Synalyzer with Photometry licenses, or if Radiant was previously purchased, you may have a separate key for the Radiant software that would need to be used. The diagram here shows all of the connections needed to set up the Synalyzer with Photometry system. You can refer back to it if needed. First, connect the keyboard, mouse, and monitor to the PC. Do not turn on the PC yet. Now, verify that the computer is turned off and powered down. If your computer is not yet connected to a power source, plug it in now. Next, we will be connecting the behavioral camera to the Plexon configured system controller. Use the supplied USB cable to connect the camera to a USB port in the expansion card on the back panel of the PC. It is important to connect the camera to one of these ports for optimum handling of the video stream. Do not connect the camera to any other port. Plug the Synalyzer license key into any available USB port on the PC. Next, use the FireWire cable to connect the photometry detection unit to the computer. To do this, first connect one end of the FireWire cable to the FireWire port in the photometry detection unit. Next, connect the other end of the cable to one of the computer's FireWire ports. Make sure to use a screwdriver to secure both ends of the cable. Optionally, if you are using input or output lines on the USB DIO interface, connect the interface to any available USB port on the Plexon Configured System Controller now. Next, we will be connecting the behavioral camera to the photometry detection unit using the camera trigger cable. When connecting the trigger cable to the camera, make sure you twist to lock the cable. Ensure that the cable is securely connected to the photometry detection unit. Now, connect the excitation light source to the photometry detection unit. Note that there is a key on the male FC connector on the excitation light source that must fit into the corresponding slot on the female FC connector on the photometry detection unit. Make sure the key is aligned in the slot and then push the collar forward and screw it down to secure the connection. Use the USB cable that is included with this system to connect the 4 channel controller to the Plexon configured system controller. Then connect the power supply to the controller. Next, use a BNC cable to connect the 4-channel controller to the excitation light source. Ensure that the device is connected to a power source and turn on the 4-channel controller. We will now be connecting the patch cable to the optical port of the photometry detection unit. Note that there is a key on the male FC connector on the patch cable that must be aligned with a slot on the female FC connector on the photometry detection unit. Make sure the key is aligned in the slot and then push the collar forward and screw it down to secure the connection. Next, turn the PC on. If you are using the 4-channel optogenetic controller, open the Radiant software. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have our LED module connected to channel 1. Ensure that LED is selected in the drop-down menu and select 465 nanometers for the blue LED module in the next drop-down menu. Press play. Verify that the patch cable is emitting light. For additional information on the Radiant software, please refer to the Plexbrite 4-channel optogenetic controller with Radiant software user guide that can be found at plexon.com. Open the Synalyzer software. In the Synalyzer GUI, verify that the system is in cameras mode. Verify that the Video 1 and Photometry Video windows are displaying the appropriate video streams. The Photometry Video window should be displaying a faint image caused by the small amount of light present in the fibers. 
This is ambient or reflected light, not fluorescence. If the fiber image is not visible, adjust the slider on radiant to increase the current. The radiant software automatically sets the maximum current output to 300 milliamps. If there is still no image, verify the blue LED excitation light is on and the patch cable is connected properly to the photometry system according to the instructions provided. If you need any further assistance, please email our support staff at support at plexon.com or refer to the Centralizer Behavioral Research System User Guide that can be found at plexon.com. Thank you.